Hi friends, in this tutorial uh, I'll be covering um, key derivation or how to salt a hash to make it more random so it wouldn't be that easy to brute force it. It's good for security reasons. Nowadays most operating systems, I think Windows and Linux, they also salt the password that they store with some random uh, uh, string. Uh, so in order uh, for this to work, let's import. So let's get started first. Yeah, I forgot it. Uh, let's run Python tree and uh, let's import hashlib and binasky or binasky, however you pronounce it. So this imports hashlib and binasky. Um, now let's create a hashed object. Uh, let's call it uh, hash. And what we do after this is that we say um, hashlib. This is the, mod, the name of the module that we will be using, and we will be using the pbkdf2 method of it. Uh, sorry, uh, for hmac. So we will be using this. Uh, so this is this part that specifies the module that we imported pbkdf2 underscore hmac as the function of that module that uh, we would be using. Uh, it provides the PKCS uh, password based uh, key derivation function 2 and it uses HMAC as the pseudo random uh, function. So, uh, I hope you understand that part because uh, it's kind of uh, related to cryptography. And uh, um, so, the first parameter that we will be passing to this function is the name of the algorithm or hashing algorithm that we will be using. In this case, let's say the most secure currently is SHA-512, I think. Um, this is the first one that we will be passing. The second one, well, let's type in something that uh, uh, we are going to be hashing, like uh, super secret password. So this part, this specifies a, a string that we will be um, hashing. Uh, this input is in the form of bytes, so it isn't plain text. It's the byte string. Uh, sorry, it's not plain string. It's just the, the input that it will be taking as in bytes. So after that, what we will do is that uh, uh, we will again use bytes and uh, use uh, salt. Salt it. Salt the password. I don't know why I'm using capitals. Salt the password. So it's all the password. It is in bytes again. This is string. Uh, what it does is that this is going to be salting you, this password we created or this is string super secret password. So it will salt it uh, with this character. Salt the password um, to make it more random or more difficult to break. And after that, uh, what we will be doing is we will be typing the number of times that we want it uh, to iterate. So let's type in something like 100,000. So I hope you understood this part. This is the name of the function that you will be using. This is the password, this is the salt, and this is the number of iterations that we will be performing on this hash. So the more the iterations, the more secure. Now let's... Uh, Hexify, hexify it or out, let's view the hex form of it. So for that we use this uh, Benaski module and then what we do is we are saying hexify Benaski hexify and after that what we do is uh, we pass in the name of the object. So this part Benaski this is this module that we imported. This we are using the hex levi function or method of it. So, and for this hash is this object that we created earlier. So this shows us the digest of it, or the hex digest of the uh, object that we created earlier, which was hash. So if you look at hash, it shows us it's a, a hash. This time it shows us in bytes the output. So this is how you can salt um, uh, a string using uh, this uh, hashlib module. 
to make it more secure and you can also specify the number of uh, times that you want to iterate it so this is it for this tutorial guys if you have any questions uh, or if there is any particular topic that you want me to cover uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one